I'm like, hang on. The show said, come on. Wait, wait, wait. Let's see, where's the tissue? Where is the tissue? My finger. Oh, not there. Mm. Hold up. This bad boy is hot. I got me some tea. Peppermint tea. I usually get chamomile, but I said, I have to feel for peppermint today. I got them Target bag. I love it. They all just politely took my ticket. Parents can't have nothing. They feel because they babies, they could take it all. They belong to them. All right, I got some tissue. So, because I got a good talk for us tonight. I ain't even calling. I don't even think I'm going to tell Michelle. I'll probably tell her after the fact. I know y'all like, what is she doing? I'm trying to put the tissue. I thought I had some paper towels, but they probably inside my bag. Okay, so let's turn this around so I can drink. Let me do that up. Drink my little peppermint tea so by the time I get to the train station, I can feel relaxed. Okay, so now. Okay, Bishop came to me. Let me see. I went to Mother Anderson, gave Mother Anderson her, her ginger lemons or whatever you call them. She says she like them, so when I see them, I'm going to buy them. I'm going to bring the other one Sunday and give it to her. But let me tell you, God know how to fix it. Is that a garage or somebody's house? You got a little bit of everything up in there. <laughs> let me see the front of this place. So that would look like this is the backyard of a house. Oh, yeah. Yeah, it's sticking a house there. So. So he comes to me, because Pastor Glover want to talk my head off now. She want to ask this. She want to talk to me. I guess she knew that Bishop was going to talk to me. So Bishop can go and tell her. <laughs> That's why I told him she's going to be mad at me because I said something. Oh, I thought it. Somebody <laughs> hear that. And so he was like, well, anyway, before I get to that. And then I want to talk to you. For you leave. I say, you want to do it now? <laughs> Get it done and over with. He said, no, 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 no. So I guess that, the pastor governor said, well, let me go and do this. So I guess you have to go in the office with Bishop. Then she want to tell me what they was doing downstairs in the bathroom after service. Signing checks. I didn't even know that. Okay. All right. Stay focused. I'm trying to stay focused. I'm trying to stay focused. Because you know me and my H-A-A-D-H-D, whatever you call it. So, we go in the office after he done talk to her. And Pastor Governor want to come back to me and talk. Okay. I don't know. It's just me and my courtesy. So, we go on. In the office. He says to me, let me see if I can remember what he first said. Oh, I just want to know. The O was for me, not for him. Oh, meaning, oh, I remember. Just want to know why you're not testifying. Why you haven't been preaching. I know that's what he said. I know that you haven't been preaching. Soon he said, I said, I know Pastor Glover sent him. No Pastor Glover sent him. Because maybe he did notice me not preaching. Or maybe he went to Pastor Glover and asked Pastor What? We ain't going to go on no maybes. Because he ain't say he went to Pastor Glover. He said, now if he going by what he heard or what Pastor Glover told him, then he should have said it. And I said that in our little tiny meeting. We had a meeting two weeks ago Wednesday. So why all of this wasn't brought out then? See, that's why I say you be having these private conversations. Now we're going to see. We're going to say, 
we gonna see this is gonna be my my witness video so let me make sure I, lord help me to remember everything that is of importance that is or is not gonna be brought out within the next month so i can go to this video and the name of this video is gonna be truth be told all right let me say that a little bit a little bit calm truth be told that's gonna be the name of this video okay so now i couldn't call michelle anyway she at work okay she must have got work tomorrow too so now <laughs> <laughs> Don't laugh at me. I'm all over the place. I guess because I'm kind of excited. So now, he goes and he said, yeah, I'm noticing that you're not preaching. That you haven't been preaching. I said, so I play dumb because I want the truth to come out. Before I respond, y'all going, you're going to tell me what it is you really asking. So I know that you ain't been preaching. I, or you ain't been leading the service. So, um, hmm. I said to myself, I ain't leading the service. I said, of course I ain't been leading the service because I've been coming late. Now, you trying to ask me why I'm coming late so I'm not leading the service? So, I said, I'm not going to even go into it until he bring out more detail. So, the only thing I said was, well, um, not really a reason, but... I've been coming late. No, I said, I've been coming. No, I said, when I get here, somebody, by the time I get here, somebody's already leaving the service like that. Yeah, but the evangelist is supposed, oh, I'm evangelist now. <laughs> oh, you notice who I am. <laughs> but, but the event, this tea tastes good. Mm. It's a nice house. The evangelist is supposed to be leading the service on Sunday. The missionaries. He just, just killed the mission. He just threw a brick. He had to laugh. Because I said, first it was stones, now it's bricks. <laughs> he started that. And I had to say that scenario because uh, that's what I had told him. I said, why are you throwing stones, Bishop? So we, they ain't throwing stones no more. They throwing bricks. So, Okay. So that wasn't safe yet. I just threw that in. So he just threw a brick at the mission. <sighs> the mission ain't got no preach business preaching. That's not for them to do. That's not their job. Right? Now I understand why I couldn't go out and preach as a missionary. Never knew that it was because it wasn't my job. Didn't even know that there was a job that preaching wasn't for missionaries. I thought... The word said, go ye into all the world and preach the gospel. Right? And ye shall be witnesses. Right? That's what the word said. It didn't emphasize on missionaries and evangelists until I believe Paul was ordained as evangelist. Then it came out. Then it was told what an evangelist should do. So it said, preach the word. I believe it say in season and out of season, right? So that means that we supposed to be preaching regardless. No matter what. Is there any service over here? I'm almost to the train station. I ain't even get to my point yet. Okay. Too bad I can't. I should have went the other way. Then that way I could have walked and walked. And I am not turning around. My mind told me to go that way. Because I want to get this out. All right, so. Praise the Lord, praise the Lord, praise the Lord. So, um, uh, they out here having a tent meet. That's what I'm saying. Me and my tell, look at me, I'm going already. I'm telling, that's what I was telling, bitch. It's just in my yearning, it's in my spirit to reach. So, child, I'll be over here, I would have been talking with them. I'd have been like, uh, can we fellowship? We got a church up there and we were like,